To access your camera, you will need to know the external IP address of the camera. You can check your external IP address at whatismyip.com. This number here will be the number that you would use to access that camera from anywhere that you're online. Now, this is a static IP address that we pay for. Yours may be dynamic. If you don't pay for a static IP address, then you more than likely are going to have a dynamic IP address, unless you specifically know that yours is static. In most cases, it's going to be dynamic, which means that this number here is not going to remain the same. It's going to change. And when it changes, then you need to find out what that new IP address is. There's a simple way of you know, using a dynamic IP address uh, to connect our cameras up here. What we're going to do is we're going to try inputting this IP address into our browser just to verify that it's going to go ahead and show up. 1.19.89 for our port. We'll hit return and you can see here that we're now connecting to our camera. We'll just hit the refresh button and that will drop down the menu on the side. And there's our camera view right there. So now we have this set up on the external network. You can connect to this uh, camera via this IP address right here using this port of 89. What we're going to do now is we're going to go to a free service called noip.org. What this service does is it allows us to maintain a common address that we would use to access our cameras in case our IP address is dynamic and changes. Now we've already created an account here which is a static IP but for your situation you're going to have a dynamic if you're using this service. Once you've created your account you want to go into the manage your account setting and you have different various options here that you can uh, do and the service that we're actually looking for is this add a host which will allow us to create a host name uh, to replace our IP address so we can call this uh, office IP cam and then you just simply select a domain one of the free ones and we'll just go ahead and use noip.info and we'll hit the create host button and you can see that it shows up under our host, officeipcam.noip.info, and it has the IP address that's currently assigned to that. Now, this, again, this officeipcam.noip.info replaces our IP address in our browser to access the cameras. Now, once you have this service set up, on your local network, you'll need a computer that's never going to leave, so a stationary desktop computer, not a laptop or any kind of portable device. But what we need to do from here is to download this client program. And you'd select your operating system. We have a Mac, so we'll click Mac and we'll download the update client. What this update client does is, is it checks the internet or your internet service for the IP address that's currently being used and then it sends that to the no IP server and it updates the server with our current IP address. And once this is done installing it will detail uh, what we need to do from there. And so once it's downloaded we need to just go ahead and agree to the terms here and we should get some more information here shortly. So it says to install the NoIP dynamic update client drag it to our application folder which we're going to do from right here. And that should go ahead and install the NoIP into our applications folder for uh, our Macintosh computer here. Now we'll just go ahead and exit out of the We'll just go ahead and exit out of this and we'll go ahead and go to our applications folder. And at the bottom here we have our no IP dynamic update client. And we'll just double click on that to open it. It's going to ask us if we want to open the program, which we do. And you can see it's running right here. Now, this is our external IP address and this may change so that's why we have the updater client on here and we'll go into preferences and we're going to go ahead and change some settings here now the only settings that you're really going to be concerned with here is going to be the host setting now this is where your hosts that you've created with no IP are going to be listed really in most instances you're only going to have one host here and this is the one I just created so we're just going to leave that checked off what this is telling us is that these hosts that I check off are going to be updated with our current IP address that we have listed here we only want this one here for now because that's the one that we're working with for our IP camera so once we're finished here checking off the host that we want to update we'll just go ahead and exit out of there 
and you can see that it just updated once I exited out of that and it says that the IP address is identical to the records and no update is needed. Now all you're going to do is minimize this window and this is always going to run uh, when your computer starts it's going to be a program that needs to be run or kept left on so it can update the server with our IP address. And that's pretty much all there is to the no IP uh, service.